Not like that new. I'm pretty sure she's skilled and talented. Otherwise, she wouldn't get Tracy Turnblad. Hello, everybody. What's up? My name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to react to and kind of weirdly internet stalk the people who are in the cast of Hairspray Live. I know this past week, it was just announced that we have two more people who joined the cast. Let's see who we have so far. I'm getting this resource from theatermenu.com if you want to follow along. The link will be in the description below. Okay, so we have newcomer Maddie by... Ba Mm-hmm. Name's Maddie Bayo. I hope that's right. In the role of Tracy Turnblad. Let's hear her intro. Maddie Balio. Maddie Balio. Thank you. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, move that mic stand. It's just gonna be you and the piano. She's so pretty. She definitely looks like a Tracy. Ooh. Wow. Her voice is so pretty. Her voice matches the characters so well. Oh my gosh, she sounds very 50s. Which works. I mean, it was set in like the 60s, so. Late 50s, early 60s, I think. Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay. I love it. I love her. I'm so excited for you. Oh, you're gonna kill it. So it's also written here that Link Larkin will be played by Garrett Clayton. If you guys don't know who he is, he's mostly known for being in Teen Beach Movie from Disney Channel. So in case you have never heard him sing, let's uh, look him up. This is my fight song. Given he is kind of like the new Zac Efron of Disney Channel, so it's kind of like Zac Efron was in the film, and you know, pretty falsetto. He does have a very pop sound to him. It's not like a classic pop either. It's it's a very modern. It's it's good. I'm pretty sure he will blend well with Maddie. Yeah. That'd be fun! Awesome! And then it says Ariana Grande is playing Penny Pingleton. I don't think I have to play Ariana Grande for everyone because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure y'all know what she sounds like. And I'm a bit concerned about this one. And honestly, this is kind of how I felt with Vanessa Hudgens playing Rizzo in Grease Live. I mean, she can do it acting wise, but I'm not sure if her vocals will match. Because the only thing I've heard her sing were things of like, like light ballads of just like pure sweetness and you know she was gonna sing Sandra D. I was like how uh, can she get but she did pretty well so I hope she surprises us I know she can hit it vocally but she's also very breathy with her pop sound I don't know we'll just have to wait for when is this air December 7 December 7 oh okay and then it's Dove Cameron as Amber Von Tussel with Kristen Chenoweth as Velma Von Tussel. This is great because they've already played Mother Daughter before. If you guys didn't know, they are Mother Daughter in Disney Channel's Descendants. And obviously, it's Kristen freaking Chenoweth. She's like a goddess vocally. And there's Dove Cameron, who is like her daughter, basically. But in case you guys haven't heard them sing together, let's find something that they've sung in. I'm pretty sure you've heard Kristen Chenoweth sing. So let's hear Dove Cameron in like her most Broadway voice, I don't know. But she's engaged to Ryan McCartan who is from Heathers and I'm really happy about that. Sure, if only. That was a good song. She does the exhale thing a lot. Again, she is very poppy, but it might be just a, a choice for like this genre. I don't know, she might surprise us for, for Broadway. Broadway. A classic Kenny Ortega spinning in the ballad for a female. Yeah, she has a very like distinct voice. I think it'll work for Amber though. I don't know. Well, you know what? A lot of- okay, just throwing it out there. I'm not here to shade anyone. I'm just like reacting to what I hear. I love her voice. I think it's it sounds really great. I feel like, yeah, she is trained. See, there's a difference between like 
modern pop music and Broadway. I just have a different standard for each. And then, oh my gosh, Jennifer Hudson as Motormouth Maybell. We don't have to listen to her because we're all just gonna be blown away. Yes, I am all for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. Ugh. Martin Short as Wilbur Turnblad. Let's hear you, buddy. Let's call him Buddy. I have a. I'm sorry. Makes me wanna cheat on my wife. As you do in the show. Spoiler. <laughs> yes, stand on the piano. He's totally gonna fit this role very well. And he does have a jazzy kind of vibe to him in this song. So ener like, energetic. That's so fun. Oh, he's gonna be so good in this. Oh, Derek Huff as Corny Collins. He doesn't have a lot of songs, I don't think. Does he? He has a lot more acting than he does singing. Still, I'm pretty sure he can sing. I mean, he's related to Julianne Huff. There's one with both of them singing. Woo! Oh, this is their tour! I can't really hear him though. Pretty. Yes, power ballad. Get up. Oh, this is very disappointing. I can't really hear him sing by himself. So the latest two that were just added that has been announced to the world is Sean Hayes and Rosie O'Donnell. I'm a huge fan of Sean Hayes. I think he's gonna kill it in this role. What is he playing? <laughs> just playing Mr. Pinky. Yes. Ah. He's gonna have so much fun with that role. And then uh, Rosie O'Donnell is playing the gym teacher. I don't know who that is. Is that bad? But anyways, that's all the opinions I have on this updated cast of Hairspray Live. I hope you guys liked these types of videos. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and give me suggestions for any of these like theater Broadway reaction videos in the comments below because I would love to do more. I just don't know what else is out there that you guys want to see me do. And go ahead and subscribe to this channel where I'll be making videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I have social media links you can follow as well. They're all down bar below. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!